being aware of that triangle and thinking of it changed my life. It made it impossible for me not to succeed. Welcome back to all the sales masterminds, uh, strategic selling groups, all, all the followers of, of the blogs I do and so on. I really appreciate your support uh, and I hope we're bringing some good value to you and I'm, I'm really trying to do that today because I've got the great Bob Tearson with me again. Welcome Bob. Nice to be here with you John. Hey Bob, you, you talk about the sales triangle and, and I, I think it's intriguing, I love it. Let's share that with the audience. What do you mean by the sales triangle? Well. More than 40 years ago, when I was a young salesperson and I was training in advertising, I had uh, the man who owned the company sit me down and he took a piece of paper and he drew a triangle. And he told me that the triangle was geometrically one of the most solid objects that you could ever find. If all the sides were strong and all the angles were connected. But he said if you undo an angle, it'll just collapse. And he said in the sales triangle, one side is, and the first side is mental attitude. You must have a mental attitude made out of titanium. And that encompasses all the things we talked about in previous discussions, like striving for greatness and, uh, and, and emotion and, and all those sorts of things, right? Right, right. Enthusiasm. Yes. But nothing can touch you. Nothing can knock you down. You can go three months in the desert without making a sale, and you're just as enthusiastic and just ready to still make that sale. You must have an, an, an attitude made out of titanium. Mental toughness. Yes. Good. Because if you're not mentally tough, you're not going to do the second part of the triangle, which is work habits. You should pardon the expression, but nobody can rape mother law of averages. You have to do the work. People used to ask me, what's the secret of your success? And I would just simply tell them, I do the work. And, and it takes care of everything. Now, it, it also happens that I do the work because I'm mentally tough. And I do the work because I have the knowledge and the salesmanship to do the work. But if you're not mentally strong, you're not going to get the knowledge and the salesmanship. And if you don't have the knowledge and the salesmanship, you're going to be reluctant to go out and do the work. So do you see how they're all connected? Exactly. I like it. But if you have the mental attitude and the knowledge and the salesmanship and you do the work, Nothing can stop you. Nothing. Nothing. And I, I, I would say take that beyond just sales too. It's in any, any field. Sure. It, it's, you know, if you can put that triangle together, nothing will stop you. Sure. Now, I believe that being aware of that triangle and thinking of it changed my life. It made it impossible for me not to succeed. It was like being put in a self-driving car. So this is vitally important for all those people out there that are, that are still trying to develop their career and work out to be successful. This sales tri triangle, you're saying, just made the world a difference for you this could be exactly what a lot of them are searching for. Yes. 
you have to be mentally strong. If you go in on a call and somebody rips you and your product apart and you allow that, you're a fool. I, I you know, nobody bets a thousand. Nobody wins all the time. We there, saw that in the cricket last night, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> but we all, we know that there are times you're going to call on some really nasty people. And maybe he had a fight with his wife. And all of a sudden he tells you, you're selling junk. And you buy into that? Are you kidding me? I would never let anybody tear me or my service down. If I knew the value of what you'll bring into the yes. table. Yes. Yeah. And when somebody tried to do that, I would apologize to them and ask for their forgiveness because I wasn't good enough to bring the value to you. And I would say to them, ask, uh, let's say I was calling on a real estate broker. I would say to that individual, ask the real estate broker who is on our program what we did for them. Ask them. That was my way of saying, you can't touch me. Hmm. And the, there are people who will go out and make three, four calls a week and think that they're just fine. But the man who, and let's say somebody makes four calls and he sells three out of the four. Is he better? <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Is he better than the man or woman who goes out and makes ten presentations and sells four of them? Uh-uh. Mm. He may have a higher closing percentage. He may think of himself as really something, but he got outworked. And if you have the knowledge and the salesmanship, you're ready to go to work. Bob, I really love the concept of the sales triangle, and I think for all of you out there, keep that in mind. So the three sides of the sales triangle, again, are... Mental attitude work habits, knowledge, salesmanship. Thank you very much. I hope you got great value out of that. Bring it to the table, work on it, uh, and you'll be great. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Joe.